Welcome back guys. My name is Blake and this is Hobby Talk Army. And today we're going to be working on the truck again. Um, we're going to finish up wiring the lights because we just got the light bar installed here and we got the trail lights on the hood. So let me go over the parts that we're going to be using and I'll kind of briefly explain what we're doing here and then we'll dive right in. Okay, so these are the leftover pieces from the trail light kit that I got. It came with four of these. Um, the only harness it came with is the uh, the two two wires attached to each light. So what I've got here is some 22 gauge, um, just dual strand, so positive and negative, black and red wire. So we'll be using that to loom these together, the two that are on the hood back there and we'll route it properly through the engine bay and connect that to the battery. Um, we're going to want to use a fuse in between there and a relay. Okay, okay, so here's the harness that came with the light bar here. One, I believe, has a fuse built in, yep. So, this one is actually 30 amps. Okay, so 30 amp fuse, that's pretty decent for the one light bar, I think that's a bit overkill. I'm curious if we can reuse this and run all of the lights off of this one fuse. But like I said, we'll get into that a little bit later. So obviously we got the fuse. We've got this on off switch that'll sit in the dash. I don't necessarily like these style because it looks like this red LED is going to stay on even when it's off, which will cause a parasitic draw from the battery when the vehicle's keys are out of the ignition. So, if that's the case, we might be taking this off and just going with the standard flip switch because sometimes I don't drive my truck for a day or two and I would hate for the battery to just slowly be getting drained. On this side, we have the positive and negative for the battery terminals. Looks like they already put these nice little eyelets on there. And then over here is our relay. So if you don't know how a relay works, it's an electric switch. So you've got the uh, 85 and 86 is going to be the power on side, the low side. So your 12 volts goes into there so that when you turn your switch on, it closes this 87 to 30 which is going to be your heavy or your higher amperage side and then the relay then takes the load instead of your switch what that does is it protects your switch from taking on the load and wearing out the switch so when someone says you got a bad relay this is what they're talking about and you just have to replace this relay which just unplugs from here and I actually have a bunch of these laying around from older projects so but that's how it works. You put low voltage, low amperage on this side, and it'll close this side and take the heavy amperage or the higher amperage to then protect the switch from burning out. So hope that makes sense. A little bit of electrical um, knowledge there for you guys. But anyways, there's the harness. And uh, yeah, so let's hop into the engine bay, start figuring out where we want to route this stuff. All right, so I'm just going to show you so that we have proof on the camera here. Um, everybody see that? Say 5 amp fuse. <laughs> okay, so it says connect the red wire to a 10 to 16 volts through a customer supplied 5 amp fuse. Well, we all know these instructions sometimes get pretty wonky. Um, I didn't have to supply a fuse. They supplied me a 30 amp fuse in this harness. So I think that's more than overkill for this setup so I'm gonna try and run all three lights off that 30 amp fuse uh, makes sense to me we'll just throw those instructions over there the thing I'm gonna use because I have these laying around as well this is kind of like a junction block so we're gonna have all the positive and negatives coming in through here as long as we keep them separate They're labeled here 1 through 12 so we should be able to have the three positives and the three negatives also get the relays involved in this setup as well and that'll be nice um, I got a bunch of space over here because the previous guy who had this truck uh, had removed the cruise control which I would have liked it to stay in the car but it's okay so we can mount this up over here somewhere and then our wires will run into this our relays will be mounted down here and then the connection to my battery is right here. 
and then we'll have it all on one switch. And then like I said earlier, if that switch does stay on when the key comes out of the car, then I'm either going to replace that switch with another switch, or because we like switches, right, we might just add another switch for a kill switch for the main switch. Yeah. <laughs> what we're gonna do is, basically, I wanna run it, I wanna run these kinda down this way so that it doesn't get pinched by the hood over and over again. And I'll probably secure them somehow in there. I might end up pulling the cowling, this, is, this black piece, the cowling up, because if you can see right here, there's a nice little hole. So I might be able to tuck this wire down here go across and then come out this hole here and then I can just secure it on the side down in here maybe maybe with some self tappers and some zip ties just to keep it out of the way of the hinge if we get really fancy with it we could use the 3d printer over there to print us some little brackets that we can self tap in there and then the bracket will kind of act like this guy for the window washer hose and we'll just snap the wires into there. But I'm not sure if I'm gonna go that route yet because that could add a few hours onto this project. And I'm an impatient guy. I kinda like to just get stuff done and make it work. So anyways, so that's this side. Now I wanna show you the other side because this side's nicer because the wire is on the outside here. The other side, the wire is on the same side on the light which means it's not on the outside here, it's on the inside. So we have less wire to actually work with and can't really make it down all the way over there. So that's the one, that one's a little bit different and I might have to, I don't know if I wanna start with the hard side or start with the easy side. I'll probably start with the hard sides. Okay, so. Just got some random heat shrink here. Do the black with the black, and the red with the red. And then we'll solder it together. One of these, the power probe, it's a butane portable, portable soldering iron. And you can probably see it glowing in there, so this is gonna get nice and hot. And then we'll be able to solder. All right, so there we go. Got that nice and hot. We'll get in and out real quick. Get this soldered up here. Oh, we got Amazon delivery. See that? Keep them even. Okay, now we'll bring that back in and do it again. All right, guys, let me catch you up. Okay. We got the wire. Extended, tucked down there, still just a mock-up, just to get the length. Left myself an extra couple feet for this guy. It's going to be nicely, nicely zip-tied up there. I wish I had some more, like, wire loom, because I would definitely loom this up and make it nice and just black. I don't like the red sticking out. And then we've got the junction block self-tapped to the frame or the body here and then I got the relay self-tapped and ran this way the fuse so the fuse is going to be right by the battery and then these will reach both of the terminals that one and the ground from there we've got we've got this wire which is about six feet long and that is going to run up to here but before we do that we're going to run just about three or four inches of it to the junction block here so we'll have a positive and a negative and then that will power our junction block so then the opposite side on the top will have our positive and negative that we can then join all three we'll join these reds together and blacks together as well as the other uh, remaining portion of this. So then those lights will be coming off of this relay and this one will go up towards the front so that when we hit the switch, 
all three of the lights will go on at the same time. Later on down the line, what we can do is just add another relay and we can add another switch. So if I do want to run the trail lights independently, we can do that. I just don't have another switch on me. I only have other relays. So this is a way that I can just really simply unscrew the connections, move them around, and then they're good to go. This other wire here is the switch, which we will probably run straight through here. Just want to do that carefully so that it doesn't leave a big hole for fumes to come back in. Although I already have, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a hole, yeah, right there that I need to plug up. And I've been meaning to 3D print a cover for that. So that would be a really easy way to shove this wire through there, but I don't want to do that because I am going to plug that up. So we'll probably poke a hole through here and then try to safely tape it back up or plug the area around the wire. Um, one thing you don't want to do is bend this down and then tuck your wire through there because it'll create a gap and then you will be getting like exhaust fumes or engine fumes coming in through the cabin. So don't do the cheap way where you bend this down and shove your stuff through there. Like poke a hole, feed your wire through, and then try to uh, electrical tape it up or duct tape or whatever type of tape you have. But like try and try and re redo the hole so then or recover the hole so you don't breathe in these fumes while you're driving. I'm gonna get this all wired up and then we'll skip to the part where we get to press the button and see the stuff turn on. All right, guys, we got this tucked down there. Just kind of zip tied it to the main harness behind the booster up along the firewall. I tried to point the red wire towards the rear just for my OCD so it's more black. Uh, then we tucked it underneath the wiper motor here, came around had this one tucked down, um, taped them up like the harness, and to the junction box here. So I've uh, got positive on number two, or negative on number two, positive on number one. Same with the bottom. There's some crimp fittings, a little fork like that, so that they slide right into this screw. The positive, negative into the bottom from the power, and then up top is to the loads. So then I did separately the light bar is on this front ones and then the rear ones are the trail lights so that later on if I want to put them on separate switches all I have to do is unscrew these, move them over, and then run a second relay uh, with a second switch. It's simple as that. I have tested it already. It does turn on with no issues. The fuse is fine and yeah so let me just demonstrate that for you. I'm just very, just kind of touching it there. Let me, there you go. And the trail lights. You can hear, you can hear the relay. On and off. So, simple as that, guys. I think it looks pretty neat with the junction box and the relay like that, so I'm excited. We gotta go get this thing um, out in the woods and go see how much it actually lights up. Because I've got some really high, like, I don't even know the rating, but I've got some really crazy LED headlights as well. So with all these on at the same time, it should be pretty cool and uh, hopefully my alternator can take it <laughs> but i think it should they're, they're all leds so but yeah it's gonna these are my headlights right now so i'll turn them off so you can see how dark it is and i'm gonna turn these on now this is the light bar on the front and the trail light so check this out boom here's my headlights Cannot see over there. Trail lights with the headlights. 
Boom. That is amazing, guys. Definitely a huge improvement. I love it. And no issues. I've been running them. Uh, no issues with the amp setup. Everything runs good, so just got to show you guys out in the pitch black. Or basically pitch black. Well, like always, guys, thanks for tuning in to Hobby Talk Army. Make sure to check out my website if you're into RC drift cars, 3D printing, because I've got some cool custom parts that I make for RC drift cars. Also, subscribe, like, share the video, ring the bell so you get updates on when we drop new content. But that's going to be it for this episode, doing the light bar install and the trail light install. And yeah, so God bless you all, and Jesus loves you. There's my kiddo. <laughs>